Ryan Sweeney, great to see you back here this afternoon. What was your assessment of the game? Yeah, I thought um, it was quite a tight one to be fair. I thought Wimbledon played well. Um, obviously, the, the early goal settled us down. That was a quick goal, wasn't it? Sort of, uh, sort of 25, 30 seconds in. So, um, so now, obviously, we knew what type of game it was going to be. Um, it was a dogged performance from us, and um, it was always nice to keep a clean sheet. How much did you enjoy the physical side of the game second half? Because we pretty much threw everything at you, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, obviously you put um, Darius come on and Tyron come on up top. So obviously it was a it was a real physical battle. Um, well, obviously I knew that anyway because I know them, what they're like and what their strengths are. But no, obviously I um, enjoyed it and um, it was good obviously to get the three points as well. Coming back here this afternoon, it must have been strange going into that away dressing room because that's where you used to clean that dressing room, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, no, it was a, it was a strange one, obviously. Um, Obviously, I'm usually walking into the home one, but um, but no, no, I thoroughly enjoyed the day, and um, obviously getting a good reception was um, was obviously a positive as well. So now I thoroughly enjoyed the day. Yeah. Seeing a few old faces out there, in particular uh, Alfie Egan, of course, he, uh, yeah. he had a good game today, didn't he? Yeah, I thought, yeah, yeah, he played well. Alfie was picking up um, picking up good positions in the back of our two midfielders in between the lines. So. Um, so we tried to rectify it half time and we uh, moved the shape around a bit, went to the four at the back and um, I thought we um, nullified it a bit better second half but I was impressed with um, Alf and he's obviously had a, a good season stepping in so obviously he's hoping to kick on now. And your own partner at centre back as well, Will Nightingale, his career is kicking on, you were the first to congratulate him this week on getting his PFA community award. Yeah, yeah, no, it's obviously um, a great achievement, you know, Will's a, he's a great lad, um, anyone that knows him knows um, what a nice lad he is. Um, He's had obviously a bit of a torrid with his injuries, but we know um, how good he can be. So no, I'm really happy that he's got um, a few more games under his belt and um, he's done well today. Yeah. He enjoyed it with Bristol Rovers. He could be on for another promotion challenge here. Possibly. Yeah, yeah, we know what we've got to do to the end of the season. I think we're sort of four points off it now. So um, as long as we take care of our games um, and just keep pushing, trying to win every game like we did today, then um, who knows at the end of the season. And of course, you're on loan to them from Stoke City, where your boss is the under-21 coach, uh, Glyn Hodges, the former crazy gang member. What's that like? Yeah, yeah. Obviously, um, I think I've seen that sort of side of him. To be fair, you know, he can uh, he can go off. To be fair, um, but no, he's a, he's a he's a he's a great coach. I've learned a lot from um, my time there so far. But um, I thought it was the right time to come out on loan and get some first team games under my belt, and I'm enjoying the experience. Still enjoying playing for the Irish. You were playing for the 21s now. Yeah, yeah. yeah I was playing. I was um, with the under 21s. Um, put two weeks ago now we won one nil so um, yeah now I'm enjoying that it's another learning curve playing at national football um, and I'm really enjoying the experience. And it's the time of the year of course when young players can get released and remember your, your, your elder brother Dan Sweet yeah. he got released he's doing all right at Barnet now isn't he? Yeah yeah he is um, he's obviously had to do it the hard way let's say um, he's, he started sort of rhyming and he's come through the ranks there and he's um he's finally got back into the league and just um he's just probably looking to get some more games under his belt um maybe the end of the season then obviously try and cement the spot for uh, the next season but now I'm really um really chuffed for him you know we're all good mates as well so um so yeah and obviously like I said I'm really happy from that he's back in the football league. Of course you you make it so now his life with Stoke City and Bristol Rovers but. You always keep an eye out for the Dons, though, don't you? Yeah, yeah, of course I do. Yeah, I think it's probably where we got one of the first results. I checked, and I've still got a lot of good friends down here. Um, so yeah, and obviously we've had a fantastic season, cemented League One status again for next season. So I think that's a huge positive for the club, and it's a it's a club moving in the right direction. And um, and yeah, I'm sure they'll be looking to obviously challenge again next season. So yeah, it's obviously a great club, and they do it. had a really good season. Sweden's great to see you. Best of luck. Thanks, Rob. Thank you.